today you are going to learn how to create a getting to know you digital art collage using Google Slides. To get started, open the student template Google Slides attachment. This will open a new tab where a blank slide will appear called student template. Rename the slide using your first and last name. This will help keep you organized. Next, select a background color for your slide. Locate the background button and click on it. Then choose a custom color. In my case, I'm choosing purple because it's my favorite. Once you've selected your color, click the done button. Insert a selected photo of yourself within the design. Find the insert button, then select image, upload from computer. Depending on how and where you stored your photo, you may have to do a little digging. Once the selected image has been opened, it will be dropped on your slide. Reposition and resize the image as needed. With the image highlighted, blue dots will appear around the picture. Use these corner dots to make sure that the image does not get distorted as you're resizing. Adding a colorful border around a photo is an optional step you can include in this project. When a photo is highlighted, the border color tools appear at the top of your screen. Simply click on them to choose a color and border weight. Using 10 or more images that represent you and your interests, embellish the background of the collage. If you are unsure of what to include, refer to the Idea Generator Google Doc attached in the directions. Looking at the list of questions, the first one states, what is your favorite animal or pet? Going back to my Google slide, I'm going to choose Insert, Image, Search the Web. You will notice on the right-hand side of your screen, a Google search bar appears. Here, you may type in whatever you are looking for, plus the word transparent or transparent PNG. This will make sure that there isn't an odd square shape around the image that you selected. Reposition and move the image as needed so it fits nicely within your background. To access more editing options for your image, select the photo, then at the top of the menu bar, you're going to notice the Format Options button appear. You will then see on the right-hand side of your screen, options including size and rotation, position, recolor, adjustments, drop shadow, and reflection. These different editing options will allow you to customize the look of your collage even more. And if you need additional help for how to use these tools, refer to the provided link in the instructions. Referring back to the idea generator question that asked what my favorite animal or pet was, I'm choosing a dog. So now I'm searching for visual images that represent my love for dogs. I decided to go with something simple like paw prints, as well as including an actual photo of a dog that I really like. Referring back to the idea generator, I'm moving on to the next question. I'm going to repeat this process until my entire slide is filled. Remember, you should have a minimum of at least 10 different images that represent yourself and your interests. Sometimes as you fill up your collage, you might run into a situation where you want to either bring images forward or push them back. To do this, right click on your image, then select order and choose which way you would like the image to go.
Everything I am choosing to include within my digital collage has a meaning or reason behind it, whether it reflects something that I like, somewhere I've been, skills I have, things I enjoy. All the images relate to me and my personality. These visual symbols tell a story about me. Please make sure you are being very thoughtful with everything that you are including. Add a text box featuring your first name. Click on Insert, Text Box, then draw the text box where you would like to place it on your Google slide. Type in your first name, then choose what font style, size, and color you prefer for this part of your design. Make sure it is large enough that you can read it clearly among all the other images within your collage. Finally, add three to five additional text boxes that feature words that describe you. These should be smaller text boxes, but you should still style them uniquely and make sure that they stand out amongst all the other images in your collage. Once you have completed this assignment, make sure you mark it as turned in within Google Classroom.